Welcome. My name is Anne Marie Hawkins. I am the chairman of the board of trustees at Notre Dame College. In these unprecedented times, we are challenged to revise our expectations. Still, we need to hold to our important traditions. Sadly, we're not able to celebrate our 96th commencement of Notre Dame College on the date we had planned. We do look forward to celebrating your graduation in person at a later date. Today, however, we will formally confer the degrees earned by the Notre Dame College graduating class of 2020. On behalf of the entire Notre Dame College community, I want to offer a hearty congratulations to all our graduates and their families, and a thank you for joining us in this videotape ceremony of this important occasion of the conferral of degrees that you have earned. Before we begin our ceremony, I would like to introduce the participants in the ceremony. Dr. John Galovic, Interim President, Sandra Grassman, Interim Dean of Academic Affairs and Associate Professor of Information Systems, Dr. David Oros, Interim Dean of Faculty and Professor of Biochemistry, Dr. Florentine Holker, Dean of Online and Graduate Programs at the Finn Center, Ted Steiner, Chief Mission Officer and Director of Campus Ministry. I would now like to ask Ted Steiner, Chief Mission Officer, to come forward to give the invocation. Let us pray together. Good and gracious God, as this academic year comes to an end, we thank you for your goodness, despite our difficulties. Be with all of us today as we celebrate the achievements of our graduates and the conferral of their degrees. Thank you, God, for our faculty and staff members who invest themselves daily in the lives of students. Thank you for the parents, spouses, families, and friends who have supported and encouraged these graduates in their studies. And thank you for each one of our graduates who have worked so hard and overcome many obstacles to earn their degrees. We ask your blessing on these graduates today. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Steiner, for those beautiful words to mark this important occasion. At this time, please welcome Interim President John Galovic, who has served the college selflessly in this role since April 2019. Thank you, Anne, and thank you, Ted. It is indeed an honor and a pleasure to address the graduates of this Notre Dame class of 2020 and their family and friends who share in this great accomplishment. Congratulations. I know you should be sitting together in your caps and gowns in a packed auditorium, but we are more together now than ever. You proved that even in the pandemic of 2020, you found your way to that college degree. Bravo to all of you. Though we cannot be together in person today, know that we are always connected in spirit, and not just as members of the Notre Dame College family, but as members of a wider world that needs your light now more than ever. Your class has endured more than most, especially this last semester, but you have triumphed. Your brave and unstoppable commitment to your personal finish line, despite the upheaval that began around you in March, is beyond extraordinary. You have worked hard. You have labored for knowledge. You have honed the skills needed for success in your desired profession. You have opened your mind to new ideas, new thoughts, new ways of seeing the world. You have done all this and you have succeeded. You have come through. You have persevered. You have stayed the course. You didn't give up. You understood that pursuing a college degree is hard work. It takes courage. It takes determination. Here in this chapel and throughout this campus, you have achieved and contributed to something greater than just skills you need to succeed in your chosen careers. You have gained an education and an understanding of your classmates, 
your professors, your coaches, our staff, our city, our global society. You are well on your way to take your place as future leaders of this world. I have every confidence that your class will acquit itself well in this area. You are more than ready to help shape our future, to determine the course of humanity for decades to come. You have the intellect, you have the potential, and you have the drive. You, the class of 2020, are the embodiment of virtues that take a lifetime to acquire. Bravery, perseverance, patience, compassion, generosity, kindness, and a refreshing sense of humor. No one has seen the world like this in over 100 years, and you are in a unique place just because you are in the center of it. You now have the responsibility to teach and inspire others the very importance of these virtues, especially when times are hard or uncertain. You have further developed the heart, the soul, the mindfulness that first brought you into our lives at Notre Dame College. And those virtues that will help you become better sons and daughters, better sisters and brothers, better fathers and mothers, better friends and citizens. Only one question remains. Do you possess the faith that's needed to make this world a better place? A place where men and women can live together in peace and harmony, without fear, without war, without hunger, without poverty. Will your faith give you the strength necessary to persevere in the face of defeat and tragedy? Only you can answer, for only you know the depth and breadth of your soul. I know that faith draws the poison from every grief, takes the sting from every loss, and quenches the fire of every pain. And only faith can do it. The challenge for you, the class of 2020, remains constant. To make the future better than the past. To live, to grow, to have a family. To seek new paths and to help the less fortunate. To do something, however small, to make others happier and their life better. The Bible says, give and it shall be given unto you in good measure and running over. Your task is not easy. It is the task given to every generation. Make the world a better place for humankind. How you do it, and if you do it, only time will tell. But as you do it, I implore you to follow three principles. Be honest, be moral, be ethical. Be at peace with God, and whatever your aspiration in life, keep peace with your soul. Your concern should not be how long you live, but how you live. Remember, God holds the length, but you, you hold the manner of living. Do not look outside for happiness, but in yourselves, in your minds. Happiness must be achieved. Freedom must be won. Faith must be sought. It has been a dawning time for sure, and the path ahead looks much steeper than you anticipated. But you are Notre Dame graduates. You have all the spiritual and intellectual tools you need to find your way to a meaningful and fruitful life. Again, congratulations and thank you. At this time, please welcome Sandra Grassman, Interim Dean of Academic Affairs, to introduce the conferral of academic degrees. Thank you, President Galovic, for your words of recognition, kindness, faith, and challenge. They are truly inspirational. I, too, offer my congratulations to the class of 2020. The purpose of this ceremony is to recognize the significant action of the conferring of your associate, bachelor, or master degree. Before we begin, it is important to define what it means to confer a degree. In your studies at Notre Dame College, you completed coursework in your major or majors 
and potentially a minor or minors, and also in the distributed core curriculum. Together, this coursework met the requirements for your specified major with a degree of Associate of Arts, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Science, Bachelor of Science in Nursing, Master of Education, or Master of Arts. The process of conferring a degree marks the official recognition that you have completed the requirements for your specified degree. The date that your degree is being conferred is May 9th, 2020. This is the date that will be inscribed on your diploma. With this explanation completed, it is my pleasure to begin the process of formally conferring each of the degrees to be awarded on May 9th, 2020, beginning with the degree of Associate of Arts. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend that the candidates for the degree of Associate of Arts in the liberal arts be awarded such degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confirm on them the degree of Associate of Arts with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Next, it is my pleasure to recommend conferral of the degrees of Bachelor of Arts. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend that the candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Arts be awarded such degree. These candidates have completed major areas of study in accounting, biology, business administration, criminal justice, communication, education, English, environmental science, finance, graphic design, history, human resource development, international business, individually designed majors, intelligence studies, mathematics, management, management information systems, marketing, public relations, psychology, software development, and sport management. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Arts with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. My name is Dr. David Orris, and I serve as Interim Dean of Faculty at Notre Dame College. It is my pleasure to recommend the conferral of degrees of Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science be awarded such degree. These candidates have completed major areas of study in biology and in chemistry. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend that candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing be awarded such degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degree of Bachelor of Science in Nursing, with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. My name is Dr. Florentine Holker, and I serve as Dean of Online and Graduate Programs of the Finn Center. It is my pleasure to recommend conferral of the degrees of Master of Arts and Master of Education. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend that candidates for the degree of Master of Arts 
and intelligence studies be awarded such degree. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degree of Master of Arts in Intelligence Studies with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Dr. Galovic, on behalf of the faculty of Notre Dame College, I recommend that the candidates for the degree of Master of Education be awarded such degree. These candidates completed areas of concentration in educational leadership, reading endorsement, and mild to moderate intervention specialist. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of Notre Dame College, for those who have completed all their degree requirements, I hereby confer on them the degree of Master of Education with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Notre Dame class of 2020, you have earned your degree under trying circumstances. Congratulations. I can't begin to express how proud I am of each and every one of you. And I know the faculty and staff at Notre Dame College are equally as proud. Go forth and make this world a better place for all of us. I now invite Ted Steiner back to the podium for the benediction. God of the universe, as we recognize the accomplishments of our graduates, we are also aware of the many needs in the world around us. As these graduates go forward from Notre Dame College, may they embrace their blessings and find opportunities to share those blessings with others. May they be instruments of peace and justice. Give them courage to change the world. God, may your providential care be with them and with all of us all the days of our life. Amen. Thank you.